TFNN. Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 4 p.m. Eastern time on Friday as we reach that closing bell and all the major indices currently in the green as we close it out for the week. NASDAQ up nine points or about one tenth percent, trading at 78.12. S&P is currently positive by 13 or about half a percent, trading at 28.40. And Dow Jones closing out up 132 points or about half a percent, trading at 25,458. Quite a two days for the S&P from 2791, closing it out at around 2839. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform, check in on some of those futures markets as we wrap up the trading week. Basically finishing at session highs for the Dow, up there at 25,421. As of about 9 a.m., we were at 25,276, so about 150 Dow points to the Dow points to the upside throughout the trading day. S&P 500, pretty similar story, finishing at session highs, 28.39 in the S&Ps. NASDAQ 100, not quite at the highs we had early pre-market this morning, but almost back up to that level, currently just above 7,400 at 74.02. Gold contract with volatility in both directions, backing it up a bit, lows at about 4 a.m. of 12.12, Gold trades all the way up to 1228 at about 11 a.m. this morning. And from there, it's been kind of a slow trickle to the downside. 1221 in the price of gold. Crude oil volatility as well, up there near $69 just after 11 a.m. Eastern time. We trade under $68 and then back up $68.61, the price of crude. And Bitcoin with some volatility as well, was up there above $7,500 just in about the last two, two and a half hours ago. We have dropped off to about $73.85 in Bitcoin. So in terms of news you had out there today as we come into the weekend, we'll get the headline number paid rolls rising 157,000 uh, expectation 190,000 but what you did have in there is some serious revisions to the upside from May and June offsetting some of that miss you also had the trade gap widening amid the Trump tariff battle. So you had total deficits in goods and services 46.3 billion in June up from 43.2 billion. Folks, thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. And we look forward to seeing you back here bright and early, 8.30 a.m. for the new program, The Morning Market Kickoff, coming to you live with Jason Paff, your host. Have a great weekend, folks. We'll see you Monday morning, 8.30.